of this video, I'm going to be quoting extensively from Chapter 4 of the National Research Council's 2001 publication called Adding It Up, Helping Children Learn Mathematics. And the chapter discusses the, the five strands of mathematical proficiency. It reads as follows. Recognizing that no term captures completely all aspects of expertise, competence, knowledge, and facility in mathematics, we've chosen mathematical proficiency to capture what we believe is necessary for anyone to learn mathematics successfully. Mathematical proficiency, as we see it, has five components or strands. Conceptual understanding is the comprehension of mathematical concepts, operations, and relations. Procedural fluency is skill in carrying out procedures flexibly, accurately, efficiently, and appropriately. Strategic competence is the ability to formulate, represent, and solve mathematical problems. While adaptive reasoning describes capacity for logical thought, reflection, explanation, and justification. Productive disposition is the habitual inclination to see mathematics as sensible, useful, and worthwhile, coupled with a belief in diligence and one's own efficacy. The strands are not independent. They represent different aspects of a complex whole. Each is discussed in more detail below. The most important observation we make here, one stressed throughout this report, is that the five strands are interwoven and interdependent in the development of proficiency in mathematics. Mathematical proficiency is not a one-dimensional trait, and it cannot be achieved by focusing on just one or two of these strands. The five strands provide a framework for discussing the knowledge, skills, abilities, beliefs, and attitudes that constitute mathematical proficiency. Now, looking at this NC Math 2 course, it was designed specifically to help students develop the fifth of those strands, the productive disposition, especially those who, who through hard experience have developed an aversion to math. The text of the Research Council continues with the following discussion about some of the attitudes that students have surrounding mathematics and how they can develop. Productive disposition refers to the tendency to see sense in mathematics, to perceive it as both useful and worthwhile, to believe that steady effort in learning mathematics pays off, and to see oneself as an effective learner and doer of mathematics. A productive disposition develops when the other strands do, and helps each of them develop. For example, as students build strategic competence in solving non-routine problems, their attitudes and beliefs about themselves as mathematic learners and solvers of problems becomes more pro positive. The more mathematical concepts they understand, the more sensible it comes and the more complex problems they can grapple with. In contrast, when students are seldom given challenging mathematical problems to solve, they come to expect that memorizing, rather than making sense, paves the road to learning mathematics, and then they begin to lose confidence in themselves as learners. Similarly, when students see themselves as capable of learning mathematics and using it to solve problems, they become able to develop further procedural fluency or their adaptive reasoning abilities. Students' disposition toward mathematics is a major factor in determining their educational success. Students who view their mathematical ability as a fixed quantity and test questions as measuring ability rather than providing opportunities to learn are likely to avoid challenging problems and to be easily discouraged by failure. Students who view ability as expandable in response to experience and training are more likely to seek out challenging situations and learn from them. Cross-cultural research studies have found that U.S. children are more likely to attribute success in school to innate ability rather than effort when compared with students in East Asian countries. Most U.S. children enter school eager to learn with positive attitudes toward mathematics. It's critical that they encounter good mathematics teaching in the early grades. Otherwise, those positive attitudes may turn sour as they come to see themselves as poor learners and mathematics as nonsensical, arbitrary, and impossible to learn except by rote memorization. Such views, once adopted, can be extremely difficult to change. Students who have developed a productive disposition, on the other hand, are confident in their knowledge and ability. They see that mathematics is both reasonable and intelligible and believe that with appropriate effort and experience, they can learn. It's counterproductive for students to believe that there is some mysterious math gene that determines their success in mathematics. 
Hence, our view of mathematical proficiency goes beyond being able to understand, compute, solve, and reason. It includes a disposition, an attitude toward mathematics that is personal. Mathematically proficient people believe that mathematics should make sense, that they can figure it out, that they can solve mathematical problems by working hard on them, and that becoming mathematical prof mathematically proficient is worth the effort. Now, my hope is that your experience in this Math 2 course is a positive one. Mathematical literacy is a key competency in our increasingly technological society. And I've tried to make a course that will allow you to continue your journey forward, not from some hypo hypothetical level of where you should be, but where you are right now. I appreciate the investment of time that you've taken to listen to these videos. And I thank you for your trust in allowing me to instruct you or your child for this part of your educational journey. I value your feedback and look forward to learning from you this semester in order to make this course even better. God bless you and goodbye.